Hey, welcome everybody. That's Mike Brenner. I'm back talking college football today with Drew Martin out of the ATL. Hey, Drew, first and foremost, how's everything going out your way? Hey, Brenner, I'm doing good, man. Uh, everything's good here in Atlanta, and uh, I enjoyed following you on Twitter and seeing that party you all had last night down there in Costa Rica, man. Good times. Oh, buddy. You know, and I've had some of my best years of my life in the ATL, all right? I love <laughs> it there and always will love it there, but I'm not kidding you, buddy. I, something happened, and I ended up in paradise, and hell, somebody's got to do it, Drew. <laughs> I wish I was there with you, man. That looked well, like some uh, some good-looking women, and uh, some the beer was flowing. Oh, buddy, it's just a great time. These guys know how to throw a party, and you know what, viewers? Uh, we had some winning advice, all right? We had a really good night in NBA. We gave our picks out uh, in the beginning periscopes of the party, and also Natalie Rydstrom, all right, one of our contributors here. All right, Natalie, she went ahead and nailed that Costa Rica for nothing. They demolished the USA. The USA has now not won on this soil in 10 games. So who knows? There's a lot going on. There's a lot of magic down here, Drew. But we're going to talk some college football. We're going to cash some tickets for these viewers. All right, Drew, Charlotte is playing Middle Tennessee State. All right, Charlotte is a home dog getting four and a half. Last year, they got crushed 73 to 14. So this has revenge written all over it. All right, now Middle Tennessee, six and four on the year. All right, playing good ball, finding their groove. Is this a team you think they might just overlook and think, hell, we, we – we, you know, we had no problem handing it to them last year. What's going to be any different this year? Or do you think there's a respect factor because of the movement of that line? And plus, they just know that bottom line, that team's got to be pissed off and wanting revenge. Well, there's a, there's actually a couple different things going on here, Brenner. And, and, you know, the line, this was a real tough one to put down. And uh, I'm not so sure that they have the wrong team favored. I mean, MTSU, they're kind of in free fall right now. You know, you got to remember Brent Stockstill, their quarterback, he went down two weeks ago with a broken collarbone. And uh, that, that was one of the most underrated and most important injuries so far this, uh, this college football season. I mean, since then, they have been in free fall. He, you know, keep in mind, he's the, He's the coach's son, really accurate quarterback, and they've lost both games. Kind of, they were double-digit favorites and uh, lost both outright. So uh, MTSU's in free fall, and keep in mind Charlotte has covered four out of five, so they've cashed four out of five times for their backers. And this this team is running under the radar, and they are a really good rushing team, and that's something that uh, MTSU struggles at. Yeah, Pistol Pete was all over this as well. He's had a good read on Charlotte, and he likes this thing. Uh, he thinks it's, you know, like you did, he thinks this thing's just totally swapped. It should be the other way around on the line. And with that quarterback going down, the coach's son, all right, that tells you a lot because there's that whole relationship. That team is built around that whole meaning, you know, because the coach, you know, he's believed in his son. The son's going out there, done the job, put the team on his shoulders, and really he had a, a, the type of game that no other quarterback can simulate you know that's behind them whether it's the second string or the third string so they got a lot to overcome all right what's the best shop line for this after and do you really do you think maybe it might be something just to go on the money line um, yeah, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I'd sprinkle a little bit on the money line. And, and like you were saying, with the quarterback going down, I mean, the, the new quarterback coming in, John Yeruza, I, th I think is how you pronounce it. He's a, he's only a freshman, and uh, he has seven – uh, he has five interceptions in seven quarters, so he's been turning the ball oh, over. Wow. If uh, Charlotte can get a couple turnovers, that will really help as well. But uh, as far as the line and uh, for purposes of the video, I personally am betting uh, – uh, Charlotte plus four and a half, and you can find that at Bet DSI right now on the SBR odds screen. Fantastic. Viewers, you heard it. Charlotte plus the four and a half, the home dog out for some revenge and to take advantage of a team that is in free fall mode. All right, Drew, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for all your hard work. Hey, buddy, we all have the same common goal, and you and I are going to get it done. Let's beat that bookie's ass, buddy. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.